Hey guys, we're back in another video with Chanel and Chloe. You know the vibe. Oh my god. Okay guys, we're back in another video with Chanel and Chloe. You know the vibe. So we're back in another video with Chanel and Chloe. You guys already know the vibe, you know? You know? Let's just keep it at that. So, which Chloe, in this video, as you guys can see in the title, it's just gonna be middle school tips and advice for the new upcoming middle school middle schoolers. Don't mind my hair. My hair is crazy. The line is not even straight. But anyways, I just wanna say to my subscribers that I'm gonna be starting this new thing called shout out, like shout outs, obviously. But what you call it? Um <laughs> So, it's just going to be, like, whoever, like, I'm going to be doing one shout-out for each video. In order to get to that point that I could shout you out, you'd have to shout me out. Like, spread, spread the word. Like, I got to see me everywhere. So, without further ado, when I see me everywhere, I'm going to get your, whatever your name is, and shout you out. It doesn't matter what um social it could be it could be snapchat it could be instagram it could be youtube it could be anything you gotta shout me out so so without further ado let's get into the video so the first ever tip that i want to give you guys is nobody cares about like don't take this offensively or like in a bad negative way but like Nobody cares. Like me, I'm going to eighth grade. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm already on my last year in middle school. And I'm type sad, but then I'm type not. Because after eighth grade, you start a whole new chapter. You meet new people. You meet, like, everything's changed. Like, you know, it's a different environment. So, since I'm on my last year, I feel like that I could give you guys this advice for the upcoming sixth graders. Because... I think they changed it. Back then, it used to be 5th grade to 8th grade. That that was middle school, something like that. And we should call it... Um, now, they changed it. It's more 6th to 8th grade. That's middle school. So, 5th grade is no longer a part of middle school anymore. So, in my school... In my 6th grade year, I had went to a school. Then, I transferred that, that school to another school. Because... It was just, I was just, like, <sighs> basically, like, like, I had too much, like, on my mind in that, like, on that school. I've been there for almost seven years. Yeah, no, almost, yeah, it was seven years because I was going on the seventh year, but I had to just transfer my schools. So I went to another school, and this is the school I'm in now. Oh, half of y'all know. But, um, like, now it's just like I had to go into another environment and meet new people and that was something that I really wanted to do from the start because I was not trying to go to that middle school I went to in sixth grade because I didn't want to but I was forced to so I went anyways and the same thing I thought was gonna happen happened and you know things happen and I don't blame I'm not putting no beef out there but Happy I know what school I'm in. So, shout out to y'all. But anyways, let's get to the video. So, let me stop getting, let me get off of me. Because, like, when I talk about myself, I just, like, go blind, you know. Because that's, like, my favorite subject. But anyways, um, like, nobody cares about you. Like, back to, what, back to what I was saying. Nobody cares about you. So, with that being said, you, like being to yourself and doing what you got to do doing your work study homework everything like your mind is based on that is mainly based on it it's not based on friendships relationships because i know these days they have a relationship in school and that's another thing but i'm gonna get to that but yeah like honestly nobody's there for you so the second thing the second tip I'm going to give you guys is <laughs> so 
So the second tip I'm gonna give you guys is the teachers are really gonna be paid attention to you. Not to you specifically, not to one person, obviously, but like I bet you 95% the teachers in middle school is gonna be more on top of you than the teachers in high school. Because high school, you're more mature and you're more big enough to understand, like, you know, middle school, you going into the teenage stages, you know? So I just feel like. The teachers care more about you, so you gotta take advantage of that. Cause me, in the beginning of the 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 beginning of the three months of the school that I had moved to, I was so innocent. I was like the innocent child. All the teachers loved me, but then that's when January came, and I just started to slack off because I felt like school was ending, so it was lit. You already know, and that's something you guys do not want to do because when you start off good and then you end bad, teachers start seeing a change in you. And you don't want to do that. Like, I understand you want to do that 8th grade because you're leaving. But 6th and 7th grade, I wouldn't do that because you're going to stay in the same school. And if you are, you, yeah. I'd rather not do that because I did it and I went through the wrong path. I got a lot of C's, you know, and B's and C's, you know. Bad grades. And I just went all the way down. And you don't guys, you guys don't want that. You guys don't want that. So, and then on top of that, your high school see all those grades. So, whatever, um, they're not really going to look at your 6th grade grades because 6th grade, you are getting to know the process and the, like, you know, the learning. So, they're not really going to look at 6th grade. But 7th grade is the main year they're going to look at because 7th grade is the middle of the, what's that called? They're going to be looking at your grades. Like, 7th grade, you already learned this. 6th grade, you already learned that. So, you already know what you got to do. So, 7th grade is the year you got to really, like, be on top, on top. Because if you slacking, they're going to, like, blow your grade like that. Like, they're not going to be like, oh, I don't, I like her because this and that. Like, no, they're going to lower your grade. They do, not, they do not care. It's like, especially, like, schools. There's different type of schools that, like, teachers are just not it. Like, they're not valid. Like... Because, like, bro, because my school, I feel like the teachers care. Certain teachers care and certain teachers just don't. They just let you do whatever you want. So, you know. But, yeah. You don't want to do that. So, the third step. The third step. The third tip I'm going to give you guys. This is back where I was saying about relationships. Relationships, meaning by boyfriend and girlfriend, I feel like you, if you do think about it, it's like you shouldn't because school is more based on learning. And I understand if you want friends. Friends is a different story because friends is like, you know, high and by for me. But relationship is a different story because you're going to feel a type of way about that person and you are going to get attached. And once you get attached, it's like it's hard to get detached because I know some girls and some boys, they just be... Like, you know, and school is not a place to do those things, too, at the same time. Because then teachers is going to catch you. And then they're not going to say nothing at that moment. But then they just going to just save it in, you know. And then when parents is a conference or a meeting comes, they're just going to go against you. And they're going to use that against you. Best believe. So, I'd rather not do that. And, honestly, school relationships are bad because, like, you're going to see that person every day, like, every single day. Especially if he or she is in your class. Like, you do not want that. Especially if he or she's in your class. And I know certain people trying to impress certain people. So that's even putting pressure on you. And that's not what you want during your middle school year. Because I bet you, you do that and you're going to regret it. I'm telling you right now, you're going to regret it. Do not do it. Please do not do it, especially for you girls. You girls are too pretty to have something like that. Not, no offense to you boys, but, like, I'm being honest. Like, you're going to want to focus more on studies, you know, and, like, your tests. Because that's, like, that's that's what school is all about. Like, what the heck? Like, these days, school is just, like, about, oh, my God, you're, like, no. Like, that's what gets me tight. I don't, I don't know why. I'm sorry. But, yeah. 
so the fourth step the fourth tip sorry i keep saying step the fourth step is gonna be mainly all right so the fourth step is the i keep saying step but like I feel like this one is more important because these days, I know everybody got a phone. Like, everybody. 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 So, meaning to that, everybody's going to have Snapchat. Everybody's going to have Twitter. Everybody's going to have Instagram. Everybody's going to have YouTube. YouTube is getting more, like, what you call it, famous, I'm guessing, because... Mad people starting to want to have a YouTube channel. Mad people want to start getting money from YouTube because they hear they're giving money. So, it's like, that's like, especially when school starts, you're not going to want to be focused on that because that's taking your mind off of, like, school. You know what I mean? Schoolwork is number one because your college your high school and your future is going to be based on it me i want to have a really really good future i want to live long i want to do i want to travel i want to get all these type of things and i know some people say i'm spoiled now but i feel like i'm spoiled now but you never know where the future is going to take me you know now it's just all about phones and stuff and this and that. Oh my god, like like Instagram, like oh my god, you gotta have the right angle, you gotta have the specific phone because then if you don't, then people are gonna judge you based on that. Or if you don't got Snapchat, they're gonna be like, uh, oh. if you don't have like you know what I mean? Like that's just drama. Me, myself, I have Snapchat, I have Instagram, I have a YouTube, but you know, I like know my limits. I don't do something that's gonna make somebody feel a type of way. You know what I mean? Like, I may throw, like, a little, like, a little, like, what you call that? I don't want to say sub, because, like, subs are, like, more, like, 2017. But people still do that. But then again, it's like, I don't, I type do that. I, not as much as before. Because now, I'm more, like, how can I say this? Like, my mentality has changed, you know? feel like that's like 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 social media has just like gained everybody's brains you know and now everybody just so attracted and addicted to it not only that but like they take stuff to the like like you know what I mean like they just be more focused on that and their followers and their viewers and their likes and that's not what you want you want to be more focused on the future you want. Because now, you could have it now, you could lose it later. You never know where the future is going to take you. I want to be with my family. I obviously want to travel, you know. I want to do certain things. So to, to get to that point, you would have to work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. work. Will you walk la, 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 la? Work, don't ever slack. Because if you slack, the more you slack, the more... You know, like, life doesn't give you nothing. Like, you got to do something to earn it. I do that a lot. I've been like that. A lot of people say I get what I want when I want, but it's not even like that. I do certain things around the house or even outside or specific decisions I make to get, like, what I want. You feel me? I got to do something to earn it. I can't just get it. Get it. Like, you feel me? Like, so, yeah. Social media is not really all that. So, duh. I believe the fifth step, I keep saying <laughs> My bad, my bad. The fifth tip or advice, whatever you guys could take, I don't really care anymore. But the fifth tip is just basically friendships. Friendships are going to come and go. Some of them are going to stay. Some of them are going to leave permanently. You never expect it because... Like, me, I've had a lot of friendships, a lot of bonds, and to me now, like, I, like, I really, like, I really still love them, but, like, like I'm not even lying, like, you, if you guys are viewing this now, like, I'm not even lying to you guys, we were friends at one point, but, I mean, you know, things happen, and I really have no problem with anybody, I really don't, I might be petty at times, but, like you know that doesn't mean like that's how i feel you know so 
yeah, I really don't have problems with anybody. So, friendships are another thing. Like, they, you get attached to them. You make memories. You do certain things in school, you know. And then, another thing is, friends, like, they have pros and they have cons. Certain friends that are a bad influence for you. There are certain friends that they are a good influence. And then there's friends that you just look at them like, what? <laughs> like, like, hold on. Because I had a few friends that, like, 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 we would, like, like, they would, like, ask me if we want, if I want to skip with them, like, skip class. And that's definitely not something you guys want. And I know some girls and boys think that way, and they don't, like, feel, like, they fail to understand that skipping doesn't get you anywhere. Like, you being in a bathroom a hallway is not gonna get you anywhere and i've learned that the hard way because i've gotten into trouble many times my old school my new school so it's not like it's, it's a mistake like you might do it once or twice but you gotta understand like you gotta really think about it like does this really help me like you feel me there could be good there could be bad there could be worse there could be like you know so you really gotta take them like really like you really gotta like see what you're getting yourself into because next step tip or advice whatever you want to take it is basically having a bond with your teachers you always want to have a bond with your teachers you always want to have a connection with them because they're the one grading your test bro like they're the one grading everything like Best believe, they dead gonna be the ones to make you not pass or to make you pass. So you never know. Honestly, teachers, they really come first more than anybody in that school. And I know, like I said, nobody's there for you, but you really gotta be on top of the teachers because they might like, like you know, they just, I don't know. You just, me, I've had a bond with a few of my teachers. I never really, really got close, close to them to the point where I could tell them anything because I don't trust nobody. Like, I can't, like, trust, like, I don't, I don't tell my privates to anybody. You have to be this close to me, like, this close. You cannot be like this, bro. Like, that's, that's, no, I'm not telling you nothing, bro. It was high and by, and that's it. And honestly, I feel like I don't, I don't tell nothing to my, to the, to my teacher. Because at this, there's going to be a point in time where she's going to hold that in. Like I said before, they're going to hold that in, bro. And they are going to use it against you when they have the chance. And I, like, oh, my God. <laughs> I've really got to that point. Like, that's why I'm saying it. Because this is coming out of experience. Because there was this one time that I had did something. I don't remember what I did because I did a lot of things. And that's why I'm saying now, like, don't don't be like me. But, like, there, like, there's going to be a point in time where you're just going to be shocked because you thought that was your dog or you thought that was your, like, bro, I thought we were friends. Like, there's going to be a point in time. That's to everything. Like, that's to everything. Relationships, friends, teachers, everything. Because you never know what's going to happen. You feel me? So, like, yeah, just think about it. Like, try not to tell your teachers everything because... They're going to use it against you regardless. Like, they're just not going to care, bro. Like, they're just there for they, like... I'm not going to say anything because I know there's teachers that really have the heart to come to work and to really care, you know? But then there's also teachers that, like, no offense, but there's teachers that just come to school with the check, like, for the check. Like, like you feel me? Like, those are the type of teachers that don't care what you do. The teachers that actually care what you do... They really there for you. They there. They care for you. So take advantage of that. Because I bet you in high school, you're going to regret being there in class. Because high school is a different environment, a different habitat. Like, hey, like, I'm telling you, bro. I haven't reached high school yet. And I'm really excited for high school. So, like, you know, yeah, take advantage. Because you never know when that's going to happen. I think that's it. That's just it. So, without further ado, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it. Smash that subscribe button. 
bro. I need to get to 300 subscribers at least. At least. At least. And I'm sorry I haven't been active, but you know, I've been really getting my mind on them t-shirts that I'm making for you guys. Because by the first day of school, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be giving it out. So stay tuned. Um, But, yeah. Stay tuned for that. And... Oh, and by the way, for the t-shirts, um, I'm going to be doing a boy t-shirts and then girls t-shirts. So hit me up if you want a t-shirt so that I could, like, start making ideas. Because you guys, you guys could even, like, make, give me ideas. Because right now I'm stuck and I don't know what type of, I don't know what to do on my shirt. So y'all could, like, at least hit me up, like, yo, you should do this, you should do this. So, like, I could know, like, stay tuned for that. I know you guys are excited. I'm excited, too. So, this is the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. Make sure you click that notification button for more. And stay tuned for the next season's video. I might do, um, I might do a school video. I'm not sure. Because I'm ready for this school year. Like, ooh, ooh. Uh.